Welcome back, everybody. Here I am with Levi. We're in the garage because it's the only place I can cook anymore. The house is still torn apart. Backyard still torn apart. But let's make a green chili breakfast skillet. Let's give it a try. My garage griddle the past month or so has been the Blackstone 28 inch adventure ready griddle. And it looks like we're about medium low. I have a mixture of olive and canola oil. I don't write down the ratio. I just uh, fill the bottle back up or keep filling it back up as it empties out. So it's <laughs> some percentage of canola with a percentage of olive oil. And I like to use Bounty. The quicker picker upper. You can use any kind of ground meat, bacon or breakfast sausage, but today I'm gonna use ground elk. Of course, I am a Rocky Mountain elk hunter. This is from last year's elk, cow elk that I got in the first limited rifle season. I process my own meat with my wife. This is a mixture of elk, 80% uh, elk, 10% uh, beef suet or beef fat and 10% bacon. And we'll see if I can keep this real time from here on out. This meat is semi-frozen. Pulled it out of the freezer a couple of hours ago. A little more uh, oil on there. You know, if you're a wild game hunter, you know that all venison, uh, you know, deer meat, elk meat, moose meat is very lean. So you definitely have to add oil to it. It's not like beef that you buy commercially that is uh, literally grown, it's, uh, it, they, they feed it and they do it for one reason, they, um, they want to make sure there's lots of fat in it. But with wild game meat, you have to add the fat. Alright, Blackstone's taco fajita seasoning, so if I'm talking breakfast, for me, it's Blackstone's taco fajita seasoning, cumin, paprika, red chili. Blackstone also has the uh, lime seasoning, but I don't like lime in my breakfast food, so here we go. Taco fajita. Okay, instantly, while that's going on, let me grab these... I have some potatoes over here soaking in water, but I forgot to drain the water out. So real time, let me drain the water out in the garden. That's right. Hopefully you guys heard that. Levi was telling me what I needed to do. So here we go. There's my potatoes down there. Of course, potatoes get a little shot of oil as well. I'm gonna cook this together here, folks. I'm gonna mix it together. With those oils and the grease, the flavorings, the fat, what little fat is in there, that bacon that's in the uh, elk meat mixed up with the potatoes. I'm gonna give a shout out to Blackstone Betty. She made a breakfast skillet today and uh, sent me a picture of it. Looks delicious. And uh, inspired me to make my own breakfast skillet. There we go, spread that out. So this is the Adventure Ready Griddle, the 2020 Walmart two burner uh, exclusive 28 inch griddle. There's a couple of 28 inch griddles on the market, but this one is exclusive to Walmart. The upgraded styling, the knobs, the stencil, the Adventure Ready logo. Of course, there was a previous, there's a previous 28 inch griddle that's rear grease as well on the market. Just a little bit different styling. The griddle plate is the same. And then there's the old uh, 28 inch with the front grease. Now there's also, of course, the three burner 28 inch that was the special event uh, Black Friday. Walmart griddle last year with the hood. And of course, the uh, range top combo has around a 28 inch griddle top as well. So if you're looking for a 28 inch griddle, couple of different options. I promised you real time, but I couldn't resist that. I had to stop and get some uh, photos of Levi driving by on his excavator. You can see the potatoes are 
starting to get some color and I dice them up really small. That's a recommendation I have. You know, obviously the smaller that you dice those uh, potatoes, the quicker they're gonna cook. When I'm cooking at home like this, you know, I use my uh, built-in thermometer, my built-in taste tester, my mouth. So, uh, you know, I might look at a potato and see what it feels like, and I might even pop one in my mouth. Potatoes are actually really good. I would say they're three quarters of the way there. I know, Nate. You wanted me to say halfway there. Oh, great man on a prayer. Levi just brought my supplies up in his wagon. Let's see what he's got for later. Yeah. What are those? Avocado. Yeah. Avocado. What else you got, buddy? And this is cheese. cheese. Mm. This is hot, hot sauce. Hot sauce. This is Gar that's garlic that I forgot to put in my recipe. Oh, yeah. Yikes, let's go put that in right now. And for a guy that absolutely loves garlic, this is probably like the fourth or fifth consecutive video where I forgot to put my garlic down. So that's minced garlic, that's garlic with uh, olive oil. You can buy that in the produce section of your favorite store. And that garlic will cook up in two shakes of a lamb today, so I'm not concerned. This is looking really good, friends. Hopefully you can see that. I got new lighting tonight, so uh, out with the old Milwaukee work lights, which didn't help me. Things are looking pretty, I think. Kind of resembles a hash, doesn't it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Go ahead and we'll move this down to this side of the griddle. I have two burners here, so I'll turn this burner off all together. That's the Tovin zone. Of course, this would be the highway to the Tovin zone. Uh, scraper, if your griddle is properly seasoned, it's really easy to clean it. So that's all you need to do is just scrape off that residue. We'll clean up the side of the griddle. And uh, of course, we'll turn this one up a little bit. Since we're off here, I'll turn this back up to around medium or highest because we're gonna make everything else that we're gonna put in our skillet. Skillet, by the way, one of my favorite bands. Blackstone silicone egg rings. What's that, buddy? Can I back the tree Good job, buddy. Silicone egg rings, hopefully you can see those right about like that. Uh, Blackstone's non-stick griddle spray. Tell you what, I'm gonna move the tripod a little bit so you can see those eggs. Let's get cracking. I don't do a pretty job of cracking my eggs, but I get the job done. I feel some wind moving in. You know, we had a huge storm the other day, along with much of the west. Uh, 80 mile an hour wind. They're actually calling for snow tonight. I'm gonna hit these off with a little more of the taco fajita seasoning because I like to have a little something something on my eggs. Now these are kind of fun. Sometimes you like a corn tortilla. Sometimes you like a flour tortilla. But Trader Joe's has corn and wheat flour tortillas. Pretty sweet. It's a combo. Remove those egg rings like so. That one got a little busted up, but it was real life, folks. And if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, you always hear me talk about the Komal, which is a skillet used by uh, Hispanics. There we go. Uh, to toast up, oh, these aren't quite ready to move. There we go, trial and error. Uh, to toast up their tortillas. And so the Blackstone griddle works great as a Komal. Little uh, nonstick cooking spray there. And these are the perfect corn and wheat flour combo. These have a really nice consistency. I used these last year and uh, forgot all about them. Went into Trader Joe's to get some chocolate the other day because that's uh, Trader Joe's number one offering in my opinion. Tortillas. Ooh, yeah. Oh, look at that. I mean, hopefully you can see that. It has a really nice looking uh, toast on there. Put those tortillas. I want these to be pliable, but you got to be careful when you have corn in your tortilla because of course they can break really easily. Eggs are looking good. They're not overly done. They're really runny in the middle. That's what I want. Let's move these tortillas here. That egg can now be moved. Tortillas over here. Mm. Over here is my filling. Tell you what we should do next. Uh, should we do that next? Mm. 
No, we'll wait and put that on top of the sausage. Okay. Hey, buddy, can you get me the green chili, please? Green chili and Cholula hot sauce and uh, avocados <laughs> and the cheese, please. Thank you. These tortillas are probably just about perfect. Yeah, look at that golden color. Mm. They're still nice and pliable. Look at that though, really soft. All right, I'll stack those over here. Keep letting those warm up. And let me see what I'm gonna grab next. All right, I call this a breakfast skillet. So you could, of course, use a couple of things. One would be a perfect looking skillet. Can you see that? One would be an actual breakfast skillet, so maybe I'll actually do one in a skillet, you know? I don't use skillets anymore. They're more of a decorative thing for me, so let's put that skillet right down there. We are gonna start with my uh, hash mixture here. <clears throat> so that's the elk, the ground elk, mixed with the potatoes, olive oil, canola oil, Blackstone's taco fajita seasoning. I'm gonna make this one big pretty platter here. I would say... You know, we have a restaurant chain out west here. They're actually, uh, a lot of them going out of business now. Uh, Village Inn, and they did a lot of breakfast skillets. So, kind of my inspiration for a breakfast skillet. Let's see here, let's go in with those. Uh, no, I don't want to do eggs, I promised you cheese. All right, don't want to forget anything else. You know, I already forgot that garlic uh, the first time. So, there's my mixture, and on top of that, we go with a little bit of cheese. Just a lot, okay, a lot of cheese. All right, <clears throat> now the eggs. Let's see, let's put one right there. And one more egg on the other side, just like that. Uh, let's see, we've got the cheese on there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my green chili. Of course, all about Hatch Green Chili, New Mexico Green Chili, Anaheim Green Chili, Pueblo Green Chili. Today I'm using the Young Guns Green Chili. So uh, let's put a little bit of that on there. We'll put it right through the middle of the eggs like that. Mm. All right, let's get my tortillas from over here. Put the tortillas down there like so. So think about this sort of like you would think about a uh, platter of fajitas, if you will. Uh, the tortillas are there and you can have at it. You can just go crazy and eat that stuff up. Put one there. And those are hot baby cakes. And I can do whatever I please. And I've been on a big avocado kick lately. So let's grab, I'm cutting the avocado here. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Grab a little bit of avocado like this. Using my spoon to get it out so I don't think the camera's picking it up. So you can just uh, play this avocado right over there like so. That looks pretty. Of course, I always have to have that contrast and I love the Cholula chili garlic. Been using it for years. So put a little bit of that on there. Look at that. A little bit on top of that green chili. Beautiful. Ooh, I might even sprinkle a little bit on the tortilla. Look at that contrast right there. Take a look at that. Let me grab my phone so I can get a beauty shot of this. Of course, I only have a Samsung Galaxy 8, so uh, beauty shots for me aren't really too beautiful. <laughs> Although, that looks really nice. The uh, <laughs> Turn the hose off, buddy. The new lighting um, is really helping out tonight. That looks really good. Let me grab one of these wheat and corn tortillas. Of course, I got a little chulula on there ready. A little bit of avocado right there. Some of that hash with the uh, cheese, the potatoes, the elk meat, and right there I'm going in with green chili. And uh, how am I gonna approach this egg? I'm gonna go with like the, kind of a reversed dippy egg, I guess. So we have that egg, which is a little bit runny. I'm gonna grab the yolk and put it in there. Maybe even chop up, hold on buddy. Okay, we'll get that later. And uh, let me go ahead. Yeah, of course the weather is coming in here. Big storm moving in, they're calling for snow. And I couldn't even make it through a video. Oh my goodness, mm 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 mm. Yeah. Levi sort of jumped the gun. Did you take a bite already? Hey, already? Well, no. <laughs> Let's give it a try. He already gave it a try. Mm. I'm telling you. Trying not to talk with my mouth full this time. Hold on. <laughs> really hard to do. I want to talk. <laughs> wow. 
Those tortillas are good. I'm telling you, if you have a Trader Joe's near you, the corn and wheat flour um, shells are great. Mm. It's nice having a big platter like that. You like that, Levi? Yeah. Come on over. And kind of go back in there, just like a fajita. Again, think about a fajita. So put some tortillas around there. You can have three or four people if you want to, sharing that thing. But just making up little breakfast tacos out of your green chili breakfast skillet. So thanks for watching, everybody. From here in my garage, this is Levi and Todd. We're saying praise the Lord and pass... The elk, it is the elk today. The green chili elk breakfast skillet.